Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another edition of the Ravens Report. I'm Brian H. Waters, live, Fox Sports 1340. The Ravens came off a huge win over the rival Pittsburgh Steelers. And I know people out there saying, where was Brian after the win? He came after the losses, but where was after the win? But you know what? It was my son's seventh birthday. I was out celebrating with him. Didn't see the whole game. Saw some highlights. But we're going to get ready because we got a quick turnaround. We're going against the Cleveland Browns. But before I go to you with that, let's take a look as my colleague Antoine Sumter brought to you his Sumter 6, which you can find on Fox Sports 1340AM.com. But you can look there right on your screen. See what his Sumter 6 was last week. Now... As we get ready, this week the Ravens play the Cleveland Browns, a team that Joe Flacco has fairly owned throughout his career, only lost to him a couple of times. Ravens have pretty much owned the Cleveland Browns. As you can see the record, it's just in total dominance of the Baltimore Ravens. This is a game that many would call a trap game. The Ravens have taken division lead at 4-4, four and four, but they have to beat the winless Browns. No, they have to destroy the winless Browns. They had a huge lead over the Pittsburgh Steelers this past week, where, but then the Steelers started coming back, and many people might say, if there was about just 10 minutes left, maybe Big Ben would have rallied the troops to win that game. So, what must they do? Here's some keys to the game, folks. Joe Flacco, he's got to get hot. Flacco, he needs a Almost a 400-yard pass a game. Now, we cannot underestimate the defense, especially the secondary with Maryland's own Joe Hayden back there. Uh, let's go back to earlier this season. You know, Hayden found a way to pick off Flacco. Nonetheless, he's going to have to get his receivers going. The Ravens need a huge game from Bashard Perriman. Perriman has yet to really threaten anybody to show that, hey, I'm that deep threat that Torrey Smith once was. This is a game where he needs to show out. We know Mike Wallace and Steve Smith, they're the veterans here, but Rashard Perriman needs to get it done. And last but not least, Terrence West. He's got to get going. Um, he's been, you know, he's had some great games, but this is a game, it's going to be a game where he's going against his former team. And what better way than to really pour it on when you're going against a team that you once played for. Yes, he's home. This is Baltimore. But what better way than on a Thursday night? We all know Thursday night games usually are not the best. But this is an opportunity for Terrence West to show that he is a force to be reckoned with. Why not talk about the defense? Well, it's the Cleveland Browns. They've had enough going on. Wouldn't be shocked if the Ravens' defense uh, have a huge show out. Yes, Cleveland got started early the last time, but the Ravens were able to score and go ahead and win that game. But this is a game that they must win if they are going to compete for this division because the Steelers play the Cowboys this week. Now, the Cowboys are 7-1, and one, which you can find Josh A. Vincent and Ashley A.W.A. Baker. They'll give you more information on FoxSports1340AM.com about those boys. But the Steelers play them. You never know which Pittsburgh Steelers team you're going to get. People out there do not trust the Dallas Cowboys. This could be a game, while the Cowboys are 7-1, and one, this could be a game that the Steelers sneak up and take from them. But then you have the Cincinnati Bengals, the, the team that can also come away and start getting some momentum. So the Ravens have not clearly walked away with this division yet. They need a great November after going winless in October. And this is a game that they very much so need. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's all coming to you from Fox Sports 1340 of this edition of the Ravens Report. I'm Brian H. Waters. You can find me all over the Internet at Brian H. Waters. At, Brian H, at www.brianhwaters.com. Obviously, you can find my writings and my work and broadcast on www.foxsports1340am.com. But guess what? Make sure you follow Fox on Google+, Snapchat, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. You're there. We there. So until next time, so long, everybody.